Hey gang, welcome back to Joe Daddy's Garage. Today's video, I'm going to buff the 68 Mustang. And I'm just gonna do it as a time-lapse video. I've done a previous you know, segment or video on how to do buffing, but this is just gonna be a time-lapse. So I'll do a quick walk around of the car, show you what's going on with it. And if you would, hit the like button on this. You know, the previous video I did that on, that really helped. It got more views in the YouTube algorithm, and every little bit helps the channel. So I thank you for that. Otherwise, I'm gonna tell you that if you can hear a droning sound, my neighbors across the street are having a well drilled today, so nothing I can do about that. Let's take a look at the car and see how it looks right now. So as you can see, there's a lot of what, what would be clear coat, basically. That's sanding debris of the clear coat. And things are looking really good. If you look at the roof of the car, this has not been buffed at all yet. This is just wet sanded with 800, 1200, 1500, 2000, and 3000 grit. So things are looking pretty good. I know people have said 800 is a bit aggressive and I understand that, but that's what I went with and it worked fine for what I'm doing. So the rest of the car, everything's been sanded down to 3000 with the soft pad and the interface on the DA, which is this setup right here. So the DA, interface pad, and then the soft pad. Fender, this fender, although all the sheet metal has been sanded. So there you can see, again, this has not been buffed at all yet. Hood looks good. Roof again. I'm getting set up to start on the roof itself. And there's the other quarter. And of course the other fender. Now I still have the deck lid to do and trim pieces. You know, front and rear balance need to be uh, addressed. But so far, I'm very happy with how this is looking. And let me get started and get this thing buffed. Okay, so this is with the wool. Yeah, you saw in the time lapse. That's what I did, went around with the wool. I like that reflection there. So now that the hood and cowl, all that's First round of wool now. I mean, I still have two more rounds to go, but I'm pretty happy with how this looks right now. So I need to do both fenders. Uh, I still have to do the tail panel. Have not done that yet, but again, things are looking pretty good. So I'm going to continue on and see if I can't get the fenders done, and then I can start doing the other two rounds and get this knocked out.
So now that all that is over with, you've seen the time lapse, all the, I mean, effort and time and sanding and sanding and buffing and polishing, all that stuff, and this is what you end up with. I'd say that's pretty good. Now, is it the best paint job in the world? No. Will it win a trophy or something? Maybe, but that's not why I do it, you know? Um, I'm very excited about how this looks. Again, I know it shows up blue, it's not blue. Fenders look amazing. I mean, you can look at the reflection. Maybe you can see the reflection. I don't know how it shows up in the camera. But reflection of the car and the fender. Um, you know, it looks great. Um, I'm very pleased at this point. Now, of course, I have not taken it out in the sun. That's the big test, but I'm, I'm fine with it right now. However it is, is how it is. And that's, that's where it's going to stay. <laughs> but there's a lot to do at this point. So, you know, I'm going to start simple things like the extensions, you know, putting them in a proper location, getting the taillights in place, getting the gas tube, you know, the neck, and all that sort of thing. Now, I still have the deck lid to finish and the headlight bezels or buckets or fender extensions i still have to work on those um, and the front and rear valance but the bulk of the car is done and i'm i'm very pleased with it you know there's always i posted some pictures on instagram you know you kind of want to don't know how well this works out but the previous videos or i think i posted maybe with a 20 dollar bill this deserves a hundred dollar bill for all the effort <laughs> that I put into this. <laughs> so anyway, more to come. Okay, let's hope everything goes well from this point forward. You know, uh, this has been so much work. Re you know, painted the car the first time, had the issue with the paint on the door, fixed a bunch of the small stuff that was bothering me. Now the paint looks fantastic. Uh, there's still a few little issues. I know where they're at. I know the problems. I'm not going to worry about those. You know, it's not perfect, and that's okay. I'm really okay with that. Now that the paint is all the same on the whole car, I'm okay with the little flaws that have become part of it. And, you know, that's just how it is. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting so much done on this car and sharing it with you and showing you the progress. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, the, in, earlier in the video, I mentioned about hitting the like button. You know, that's a big thing with YouTube and the algorithm and blah, 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 to get this video moving forward, to get my, my channel getting bigger and all that sort of thing, I need support. So I need you to hit that like button and, you know, hopefully you like the video, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Uh, along with that, you know, I have my patrons that have been supporting me and I appreciate them so much. You know, because what lacks uh, as far as revenue, let's say, from YouTube, the people on Patreon are helping with that. And that's, that's really tremendous. So I do post stuff on Patreon. Uh, I do shop updates. Sometimes I do, you know, more detailed videos, stuff like that. If you're interested in becoming a patron or becoming a patron, uh, there's a link in the description below and you can join the team. Also, I have a link to Amazon. So if you're buying products, you can go through my Amazon page. It helps generate a little bit of income. And of course I have, you know, t-shirts and stuff like that still on Teespring. So if you're interested in that as well, by all means, help me out. <laughs> but I'm so excited right now. I want to get this car together and move on. I've mentioned it before. Uh, I did buy a 67 coupe that will become a fastback. So, I need to get this car out of the way, get some other stuff out of the way, and hopefully work in that 67 coupe at some point so that I can get the fastback conversion on it because everybody wants to see that happen and I want to share that. So hopefully I can get all the stuff taken care of and we can move forward. But uh, that'll be it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And until next time, take care of yourselves. See you.